Hey guys, Nikhil here. In this video, I'll be doing a review of Basecamp. It's an incredible project management software. Let's get started. So first things first, uh, why even bother with the project management software? Why can't you just use Google Sheets or, you know, Excel Sheets or whatever it is? The thing is, uh, as and when you start working on detailed services, trying to establish SOPs and all of those things, updating Google Sheets, keeping track of a lot of things, setting up reports, figuring out who is working on what, uh, getting feedback on specific tasks, these kind of things become really hard, uh, you know, when you're using Google Sheets or just a simple communication like WhatsApp groups or something. One thing you need to understand, the review which I'm doing is from a perspective of someone who's never done a formal project management course. Uh, I have no idea about project management. I have no idea about Agile or Scrum or these kind of things. I just wanted a simple tool to be able to track my projects, to be able to track what my employees are working on, to be able to give feedback on specific tasks as and when they get finished, maybe give client access to you know some of these projects. Uh, some more context, I run my primary source of income is I run a YouTube channel management agency. So what we do is we take over companies' YouTube channels and uh, set up their content calendars, uh, set up video production, set up editing, set up scripting processes and, you know, continuously output videos for them. This is a specific use case, but uh, what I have noticed is Basecamp as a software can be replicated for various different tasks and use cases as well. Uh, specifically, Basecamp has these features of creating templates and I'll take you through one by one on how it works. But the idea for me was very simple that I did not want to remember what are the tasks which are open in my mind. I did not want to remember what my team is working on and I wanted them to have access to reply as and when they want to complete tasks without me having to constantly follow up with them. So I want to be able to just give them a deadline and then tell them, boss, just work on this and finish it. Now, we started exploring different project management softwares during the first lockdown when we moved remote. Uh, before that, I mean, we just used to use a whiteboard in our company and, you know, keep track on Slack or WhatsApp or whatever it is. Uh, after we moved remote, it became imperative that, you know, we're able to track a lot of things. So before using Basecamp, I've used softwares like Trello, ClickUp, Monday.com few things which I've found in a lot of these softwares and even Notion, which I'm sure a lot of you have heard of. So few things which I've found in a lot of these softwares, why they just don't work for me is you have to spend a lot of your own time trying to set up a lot of things. And I'm sure if someone who has a project management background or who knows Scrum and Agile and these kind of concepts, they can do a much better job using one of these, you know, softwares. Uh, for me, however, I have absolutely no background like that. I'm just, just an engineer. Uh, I've built some startups and, uh, from that standpoint, I wanted something which is personally extremely simple for me. Uh, second, I didn't have to spend any time training my employees because, uh, well, because we're a new company, we end up hiring freshers. We end up hiring people who just have one or two years ex experience. And I didn't want them to take very long to get started on using the software. What I've seen is if you have a team, your knowledge of the software really doesn't make a difference. What matters is if your team is using the software as it's intended to. Apart from the ease of use for myself personally, the ease of use for employees and contractors, we worked with a lot of contractors, was critical. So when we started looking at various different softwares, uh, when I came across Asana, Trello, all of these things, one of the main issues which I had with a lot of these softwares was they had per user pricing. And uh, with videos, you know, you deal with relatively large file sizes. So I had to end up taking paid plans. And when I started budgeting, like I would end up with the software costs of itself, 300, 400, $500, because uh, despite having very few employees, like our total team size, even today is just four or five people. We work with almost 20, 25 contractors on a regular basis. I'm talking about, you know, every month engagement, every week engagement. And when you start accounting for contractors, a lot of these projects end up failing. A lot of these project management softwares uh, become very, very expensive. Like uh, the project management fee itself would end up being 5%, 10% of all the costs of the company after the employee salaries and contractors. So I was like, no, we got to look at an alternative, which is cheaper. And then at that time, uh, we came across Basecamp. Now, I heard about Basecamp because uh, I follow Jason Fried. He has some really nice books, which you should check out. Uh, Rework is one of them. It's a really interesting book. And he had some interesting concepts about uh, how to go about project management. And uh, again, coming from someone who has no background in it, when I checked out the software, uh, it seemed interesting and had created a free personal plan. Uh, I had used it. It was pretty simple. But when we started, you know, working with multiple contractors and working with multiple clients, one of the key things which we required was this, that uh, we would require, of course, multiple task lists. 
because we're working in the content space, we would require a very nice calendar experience. And then finally, we were looking at, you know, something which allows us to create a lot of templates because anytime I onboard a new client, uh, I wanted to make sure that we follow a standard fixed process, you know, basically set up a nice SOP. And SOP for me is basically a checklist uh, that what are the different tasks which need to get done and, you know, what has to happen in each task. Uh, the second thing was, of course, I wanted a very good commenting system. So whenever a title is added, a thumbnail is added, or a video is uh, uploaded, uh, we wanted to be able to give feedback to it properly and open that link up to our customers also to give a lot of feedback because WhatsApp feedback we end up losing track on. Uh, and the last thing is we wanted, you know, automatically to have some kind of repeating tasks, automatically to take updates from people as to what they're working on. When we started looking at Basecamp, uh, fortunately, it gave us a lot of these features. So let me just show you how Basecamp looks. Now, the first thing you'll notice is uh, from a UI and UX perspective, Basecamp is a very okay system. Uh, it doesn't look that great, but my idea was I didn't really care. It has to be easy to use is what matters to me. So let me just give you a very quick tour of Basecamp so you understand this. Now, on the top, you have Home, Lineup, Pings, Hey, Activity, My Stuff, and Find. Uh, lineup is something which they added recently, and I mean, I don't really use it much. I use Home. Home is where we are right now. And on the top, you'll find all the pinned projects which you have. And then below, you'll have all the different projects. When you scroll further, you'll have a schedule here. And then you'll have your assignments. I typically spend a lot of my time on just my stuff and my assignments. So these are the tasks which I need to be, you know, working on and which I need to be figuring out. Now, pings is where you can have some very quick instant messages with people or have some small groups going on. We don't end up using pings a lot because I don't know, for whatever reason, the experience is not that great or WhatsApp is just faster. Hey is where, where you get all your notification. Uh, and activity, this is something I really like where I can see what all I have been working on. So, I mean, if you see some of the videos which we'll be covering in this channel soon, I just added them last night. Now, here's the thing, right? Uh, I can get a daily summary of what someone has worked on, what I have been working on. But not only can I see what I have been working on, if I select someone's assignments and I open that specific person, so in this case, Payal is one of our writers. If I just want to see what all assignments she has, plus what are activities she has done, what all she's been working on. I, I get this very nice timeline right here. I know exactly what she's been working on. Uh, I, I really find this feature really cool and I'll talk a little bit more about this. So home is that activity is, uh, as I told you, you know, you can check people's activities. You can check my stuff and of course there's search. Search is pretty cool. Now inside each project, so let's open this channel uh, itself. You have different tools. Message board is, you know, like a shared notice board. Campfire is a small group chat. Schedule is where uh, you can see your entire calendar. And docs and files is where you can link uh, so many different docs and files uh, related to this project. And the main tasks are tracked inside to-dos. So to-dos are basically task lists. You can either view as cards or you can view as lists. And inside each list, you have various tasks. And inside each task, you can have some information and you can have a lot of nice commenting. So roughly Basecamp, you spend a lot of your time on to-dos. Um, and that's about it. Like you just have a lot of task list and you have a lot of assignments and you keep going through them step by step, one by one. Now you will be like, okay, Nikhil, so what is it that you like so much? I mean, whatever I've shown is pretty much common across all softwares. So few things. Uh, the first thing is whenever I assign a task to someone and I give it a target deadline or a schedule, one is of course they get notified about the assignment and they get a due date. So let me assign it to myself. So whenever I have a task and I assign it to someone, it of course notifies them immediately and I can save it. But if I want, right, I can actually follow this particular task and I just have to click on don't forget. So what happens is anytime this gets updated, right? I have I, after me having assigned to someone else, the moment this gets updated, I get notified this don't forget. It's a very small feature, but I may not be part of completing that task, but whenever that particular assignee, say I've assigned it to someone else. So let me just open Kishore. He's like, he's my partner. As and when he updates this task, I keep getting notified here. 
So this is a really, really cool, well thought out small feature, which I really like where I can follow a particular task like this. And if it's a, a priority task, I can, you know, track it and things like that. The second part is as, and when I assign something, right, it gets updated in the schedule. This is the project schedule, but it also gets updated in that particular person's schedule. So for example, if I go to activity, I go to someone's assignment and I type Kishore. So as you can see here, right, automatically this particular task is assigned even to his calendar. So when he opens his calendar, he has to go to my stuff and he opens my schedule. So these are my tasks. He can see all the tasks which are assigned to him across different projects. So this kind of interlinking is really well thought out in Basecamp where I feel a lot of other softwares fail in this, or I don't know, like for whatever reason, it's not as easy to access or the calendar of schedule or the calendar of tasks for them. So this is one of the things which I really, really think Basecamp has done well. The second part, which I really love, uh, and for, for me, and I think uh, it can really help a lot of other users is, uh, when I make a new project, I can define a lot of templates. For example, when these are some of the services, which uh, we initially thought we'll offer, of course, we offer a lot fewer services now focus on some of them. But say for example, 24 video plan. So this is like our YouTube video plan where we output 24 videos in a month for a customer. If I click on this and I give it a name, so I'll just call it test video plan. And I click on create this project. The moment I do that, right? A project is created with all of my checklists in place. Now these are basically templates. Uh, you'll be like a lot of other softwares have templates. They do, but then a lot of them are, uh, you know, blocked behind paywalls, uh, or I don't think they work as well as this particular uh, template feature work. Just yesterday, Basecamp released a feature, uh, wherein in the templates, I can even have dates and assignments dates, which are automatically adjusted to, you know, like it'll take three days to finish this card. It'll take one week to finish this task, etc., etc. So this template feature is really well done. And you know, we use this extensively. The moment we onboard a new client, it goes into the template he's added here and we have to go through this checklist. Uh, I mean, this is something which has saved a lot of my time. And the second part is, uh, so Trello, for example, had templates long ago, but it's under a paid feature now and it gets very expensive. And if I have to add client, I have to play for his license and all those things. Uh, or I mean, if I have to add a contractor, I have to pay for his a license, not the client. So these parts, because I have a $99 a month plan with Basecamp, they become really easy to use. We use it all the time, have a lot of contractors who are part of templates, have a lot of employees who are part of templates, uh, use templates extensively. So a very simple, have a project, uh, your, what are the to do's under that project? And then what are the different documents under that project? What are some notice boards? Like what are important things to keep in mind about that project? And that's it. It's, it's, it's very straightforward. There's no, you know, some dynamic thing happening or there's no crazy features. Now, of course they have been experimenting with some crazy features. Like they have added uh, this kind of a Kanban and all of that. And, uh, I've not really enjoyed it much, uh, but I, I tried it out for some time, but it didn't really work for me, but the simple projects and then different elements in the project, your conversations, your notice board, your to do's and in to do's having checklists and specific tasks. This was pretty useful in Basecamp. So the next part is collaboration on specific tasks. So what do I mean by this? So let me give you a small example. Okay. So let's look at this particular task. Uh, now we were supposed to work on, uh, you know, some kind of ad scripts and uh, Kishore had assigned it to me. Kishore is my partner and uh, script is done is what I had said. Uh, and I asked him to assign to a videographer uh, and Kishore asked me to add the script here itself because he was not able to find it. And I add, I pasted the script here itself in the comment. Now a conversation like this gets lost in email and it gets lost in, you know, WhatsApp, but over here, because it comes under the course, under that particular task, under that particular task list, uh, it becomes very, re really easy to find it. And I mean, in search also, it becomes very easy to find. So if I just search ad script in search, uh, let's see. So I'll pretty much the first thing I end up seeing is this task itself. So the search is also really cool. You can quickly find it and the commenting collaboration is really nice. You can do back and forth and 
it becomes really easy to you know collaborate with your team members even if you're remote so yeah these were this is how basecamp basically works uh, now what's my review of it well in the pricing which i had purchased it i had actually purchased it at just 99 dollars per month and my billing is going on and i don't know how long that will go i think it's a no brainer uh, honestly speaking having these kinds of tasks and templates and things like that it becomes really valuable because you don't have to hire a project coordinator or an assistant or someone who will only do you know task management we have hired a project coordinator for us for our company to work with a lot of our contractors but her job is more of a follow up and doing quality control rather than actually uh, keeping track of projects Keep, keeping track of projects automatically happens on basecamp the things which i like about basecamp it's uh, really user friendly the experience on mobile and desktop is like you you basically can't tell the difference the ui is something which although not so great is for us to onboard someone takes like 10 minutes it's not that hard we tell him like this is how you have task list this is how you'll get assigned and this way you can check what your assignments are uh, the second part is it has a feature called automatic check in where every morning you know instead of having of course we have daily stand ups but uh, with our contractors we don't have daily stand up so how do we know which projects they are working on so there's a quick message which goes to them on their respective projects where they just ask what what are the tasks you're working on today and a quick update like that is more than enough for us uh, you, we don't have to get on a call we don't have to send them an email or send them a message and our job's done and the last part about basecamp what i really liked is the fact that there's unlimited users at least in the plan which i had so i had this plan i think i had a plan in between both of them and i had a i still have a 99 dollar per month plan and we paid paid the bill annually but right now it's 299 dollars it's a bit pricey uh, but for 99 dollars a month it was a no brainer for us uh, and at that price i hope basecamp brings back that plan i don't know if they will uh, it's a really i highly recommend the software uh, it's helped clean up our entire uh, like remove our dependence from spreadsheets it's helped clean up our entire project management we know pretty much what what's happening with each project basically that ambiguity and the clarity is no longer there in the company that we know ki kya kaam karna hai kahan pe atka hua hai or rather we know like what we are supposed to be working on where things are stuck and uh, you know what if there is some update needed like we can tag someone and ask them to just update it it's that simple so i highly recommend this software do check it out if you haven't already it's much better alternative than using whatsapp and google spreadsheets uh, but yeah it will require a small learning curve the thing i love about basecamp over a lot of other softwares is the setup time needed is very very less creating tasks and task lists is very easy whereas in notion and a lot of these other projects i don't know for whatever reason the amount of time i had to spend in these softwares to get them to work for me was a lot higher because i don't come from a project management uh, background or i've not worked in companies you know using a lot of softwares i i really couldn't spend the time or i didn't have the skill to set up something this is something where i could just start, get started and you know start uh, assigning tasks and putting a brain dump of whatever is going on in my mind about a particular project uh, so that's about it guys hope you like this video of basecamp if you have any questions about basecamp please let me know in the comment section below i'll be more than happy to answer it uh, thank you so much for watching see you in my next video